Hi guys, hello Leute! Welcome back to another German session. Today I want to teach you how to make the sound CH in German, okay? And there are actually several different sounds, so we really have to, um, we have to get to know the rules um, that apply to that sound, okay? Unfortunately, the sound uh, that the CH makes in German um, does not really exist in English, so I'm gonna have to somehow explain to you what the tongue does in order to produce that sound, okay? Anyway, let's get started. So the first sound that you have to learn how to make is kh, kh. So how you make that sound is like this. Um, first of all, you can try to uh, pronounce an H. Like it's, you would say h, h, right? H. Now if you move your tongue upwards, you, the back of your tongue upwards toward the soft palate, you can create that h sound, like in Loch Ness, you know, the, the Scottish lake. Okay, so basically you can try doing that. There it is, okay? So you go from H to H, okay? Okay, it's, it, sounds, it sounds weird when you do it just like that without saying a word, but anyway, this is how it works. So you, you start by pronouncing an H, and then you move the back of the tongue up towards your soft palate, which is in the back of your throat, and you can pronounce that H sound, okay? There it is, okay? So whenever the CH is preceded by A, O, U, or AO, you have to make the H sound, okay? A, O, U, or AO, okay? And I'll give you a couple of examples. Der Bach. Der Bach. So you probably, some of you know the composer Johann Sebastian Bach. So now you know how, how to pronounce his last name. Maybe you, you knew before, but anyway, now you know that there's a rule behind the H sound in Bach, okay? So, der Bach. Then we have uh, das Loch. Das Loch. Okay? Der Kuchen. Der Kuchen. Or we have auch. Auch. All right? Okay, so you can practice with those words for now. Okay. Another sound you have to learn to make is ch, ch. Okay, this is also um, a sound that you know appears frequently in the German language in many many words. So you you can't really um, you know you can't really miss it. You have to really learn that. Okay, so it's ch, ch. Um, You know how you pronounce huge, huge. It's kind of like that sound huge. It's a huge house. So ch, ch, huge huge, right? This is the, C the CH sound, the soft CH sound in German, okay? Um, now, when do you make that sound? You make that sound when the CH is preceded by E, 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 Ö, Ü, Oi, or I, okay? And I'll give you a couple of examples so that you can practice. So we have ich, one of the most uh, important German words, ich, okay? Then we have lächeln, lächeln, okay? And then we have München, München, okay? Das Pech, das Pech. Der Bereich, der Bereich. Die Köchin, die Köchin. Euch, euch, der Räucherlachs, der Räucherlachs, okay? All right, uh, now we also have another sound that the CH makes in combination with a letter, another letter, which is X, X, okay? So whenever you have CH, S in combination, it makes the sound X, so X, X, okay? All right, so I'll give you a couple of examples. Der Fuchs. Der Fuchs. Das Wachstum. Das Wachstum. Wechseln. Wechseln. So I'm pretty sure um, you won't have any difficulties making that sound because it's just like the English X, okay? Okay, and then we have the combination S-C-H, which is either pronounced SH or Okay, so um, yes, how do we know when to pronounce which one? So basically, um, in every word, 
that where the sch is in one syllable you pronounce it sh okay for example der schnee okay der schnee or schenken schenken or die schule die schule okay or mission mission so the c the sch is um in one in one syllable together so um that's when you say sh when the s is in one syllable and the ch is in another syllable then you don't say sh but you actually say sh for example in ein bisschen ein bisschen so it's bis Chen, bis chen, okay? So, um, yes, that's basically all you need to know about the sh or the s sh sound, okay? Um, now, whenever the ch is preceded by consonant, uh, you have to make the sh sound, okay? Like die Milch, die Milch, or der Dolch, der Dolch, okay? All right. Um, of course, there's a couple of foreign words like um, das Chaos, das Orchester, der Christ, um, where the German pronunciation rules do not apply. But that's always going to be the case because there's always influence. There's always an influence from foreign languages. So there's always an exception, as you might know. Um, those of you who have experienced learning a foreign language will know that there's always an exception to every rule. So anyway. Okay, so let me summarize what we've learned today. We've learned that there is a ch sound, just like an auch, okay? We've learned that there's a ch sound, just like in die Milch or möchten, möchten, okay? And we've learned that there's a x sound, like in wax, okay? And then we've learned that there's a sh sound, like in der Schnee, okay? There's also a s sh sound, like in ein bisschen. Ein bisschen. Okay? Thank you very much for watching once again. Um, don't forget to visit my blog. You'll find a lot of useful worksheets and exercises there. Um, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bis bald. Tschüss!